It's a great lift. It's very heavy. Uh, it's gonna, it might take most people or older folks, and I'm getting there. It was, you know, if you put it in the way I did, it's easier, and you work smart about it, but I don't want anybody to hurt themselves. This is really heavy, so it'd be best if you have two people to um, carry it. You know, definitely get the wheel dolly. You saw how easy that made it. It would be easier to carry if you had another person and to hook it into your receiver on your car. This adjustment is a great feature. You just slide it in, you know exactly where the pin, the pin hole goes. Another great feature is the way these hooks rotate like that, spin them out of the way. Um, the, the locks, the locking hitch pin, and then the locking cable that goes around your bikes and through the rack is awesome. The fact you can pull this pin and it's attached on a cable so you don't lose it. And you can fold this down out of the way. It makes it easy to load up your back bike if you want or to fold it up. You know, so I can lock this down. I can put this through here. And then I can come here, right? And I can pull this bolt out and then I can, I can fold this up like that straight up and down. Got to put the bolt back in. So that's where it'd be handy to have a ratchet, but you can use those wrenches. Mm -hmm. To me, that is a pro and a con. But as heavy as this rack is, I understand why they want a bolt there. It's just safer. And and the finish on it is really nice. Nice powder coating. So that's about it. It's it's a good looking rack. It's sturdy. It's going to hold 280 pound fat tire bikes up to 5 inch fat tires. And it's easy load. You know, you just roll the bike up and it... It helps you lift it up. It's really, really easy. And you can see the how high off the ground it is where I loaded it. I did that on purpose just to show you how easy it is to load by yourself. Mm -hmm.